Hi guys, today I'm printing out, uh, testing out actually, honeycomb 3D pattern. It's not exactly a honeycomb, it doesn't even look like a honeycomb. Um, but what I find uh, is that this pattern um, can connect more surface area with less infill. And it might actually be better than gyroid for all equal directions, so I'm testing it out. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm actually printing out gyroid over here. Uh, 3D printed TPU pillow. <laughs> Another 3D printed TPU pillow um, for testing here. And what I'm trying to do is um, trying to use the least infill uh, that has the best equal pressure since I need to really control the flex in my new pillow um, using the infills. Which is the greatest thing about 3D printers. You couldn't do this with regular plastic because molding, you have to you know, mold it and then you're pretty much done with it. Whereas you can completely uh, change the amount of infill, the pattern, and this is where the key. And this is what the 3D honeycomb looks like. It's like a honeycomb in a 3D format, I guess. They actually, first time printing it out, I was just messing with my Crucial Slicer and found that this could possibly be a contender to the gyroid. If you're looking for applications where you need equal uh, pressure in all directions with a least amount of infill use. Now this is a really interesting uh, pattern. This is only at 3%, right? If you compare this with a uh, gyroid pattern, you'll actually see that Gyroid um, has less contact points to the surface, whereas the 3D honeycomb does has more. So I'm just testing it out. I'm also printing another one down here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test the strength and stuff. Um, but so far, my go-to option has been the gyroid infill, which gives you very good uh, force in all directions. It's not the strongest. The absolute strongest material I've tested is the honeycomb structurally but um, again the problem is that honeycomb has you know honeycomb has the hexagon and the hexagon there's still a section where you know it's, it's not equal force so that's where gyro comes in um, and gyro gives you equal pressure so this is great for flexible materials especially um, this because this is where Again, the infill sort of decides how strong your material is going to be, and you can, you know, pretty much decide the strength of your flexible material in your final project through how you design your infills. But yeah, that's how uh, the 3D honeycomb looks like. Sorry, you got a little long, but I have some updates. Um, just, just giving you an idea of what I'm doing. I'm also pretty. Oh shoot, I think I forgot to change the pattern on this, damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna print this one for testing, bar.